Hello, uh, my name is Jay Kang, Associate Professor of Entrepreneurship. Uh, these days, I am teaching organizational behavior as an asynchronous online course. For the weekly individual assignment, I ask my students to discuss about the current emotion and feeling in their daily lives. Uh, surprisingly, many of them express stress, anxiety, and depression. Honestly, I also feel the similar emotion during the pandemic. So, I am trying to purposely overcome these negative emotions. As I agonize what to tell to my students, I share some of my personal solutions as a possible remedy. First, it is helpful to have a personalized daily routine. For example, I wake up at 5.30 a.m., eat breakfast with coffee at 7 a.m., walk out in the basement at 7.30 until 8.30, and work and study in my home office until noon. Since I don't have to physically attend any meeting nowadays, it is possible to set up the daily routine. Second, working out every day is very important. If we stay at home for a longer time, we usually spend our time to browsing the web, checking the smartphone, and watching the YouTube. Now, this activity makes us to use our brain more and may lead to less physical activity. Now, if we spend more time in using our brain function, this kind of habit may lead to insomnia. In my case, I walk on the learning machine watching Soul Walk on YouTube in the morning. Uh, in the afternoon, I do some exercise by watching the Thank You Boo Boo on YouTube. To me, regular workout until sweating is helpful to have a deep sleep. Third, I consciously try to simplify the brain function during sleep. I learned that heavily using uh, my brain during the daytime may lead to the insomnia at night time. Uh, the reason why we cannot sleep well is because we think too much on various complicated problems about our life. Especially if you check the negative news or urgent email at night, uh, extremely harmful to have a deep sleep. In my case, I imagine riding a horse and jumping the fence on and on. This is pretty helpful to simplify my brain during sleep. About 100 years ago, during the Spain influenza in 1918s, people might experience anxiety and depression like us. However, American people experienced the economic boom right after the pandemic, and the government imposed the prohibition law that stores cannot sell alcohol. Although they had to face the Great Depression about 10 years later in 1928, they made huge economic growth in the history of mankind until recently. I wonder how our future generation will write the history about our difficult time now. Thank you for watching this video. I wish all the best for your future.